way. Not, Not really understanding, really understanding Chelsea, Chelsea, Brandy replied, Brandy replied what, did you do? what did you do? Pick her up or something? Up or something? And, Chelsea and Chelsea allegedly replied, allegedly while, replied while making a shooting, a shooting motion, motion with her hand and two fingers. fingers. No, no, I shot her. And she even and she added, she asked me to take care of the problem. And now he has to do what he has to do. Brandy! Your hand up to the sky, can do that when they go, then draw your own map, and we write it. Welcome to LG Reaction Music. I was going down with Annie Saul and I found a TikTok to murder kid, a kid for her jealousy porno boyfriend. Who does that? Like, this is a sad thing to do. If you murder someone just because your significant other told you or just for the Jealousy, then you're insane. Like, I'm, I'm not telling you to do it, but it, it's sad. And a Jefferson County grand jury has indicted Chelsea Ship and Cody Arnold for first degree murder in connection to the death of a 16 year old girl. Chelsea and Marie Ship lived a life like that of many other young women her age, establishing her presence on social media and seeking engagement. However, her popularity took a steep turn when Chelsea went from being an influencer to becoming America's most. How do you become an influencer? Someone that people want to hear and you end up becoming a wanted criminal how you do that like you can come be good and then turn out and be a, a wanted person though for for how many money they they try and uh, charge you for this, this is the tiktoker, is the TikToker who, murdered who murdered a child, a child who was jealous, jealous had a, a boyfriend, a boyfriend. Chelsea, Chelsea Anne-Marie Ann Marie Ship, Ship was a 25-year-old who, who began her TikTok, TikTok career, career in February 2020, 2020 by posting, by posting small, small creative, creative videos, videos that showcased her personal, personal life. life. Like, so, like so many other many influencers, influencers. Chelsea, Chelsea aimed, aimed to engage, engage her, followers her followers and perhaps, and perhaps even, go even go viral on her social, on her social media, media platform. platform. She, started she started by sharing by heartfelt sharing clips of her dog to attract attention. This my baby. And ain't nobody, nobody been touching, touching. Though not, though a, not social a social media sensation, social media sensation Chelsea, managed Chelsea managed to reach a substantial, a substantial number of followers and engagement. Yeah, that's a decent amount of followers and like, decent amount. Chelsea is a cheerful, heartfelt, and eccentric young woman. Not that social media really defines anyone's life. It's good to keep in mind that Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, or any online sharing platform only portrays a small portion of someone's life. And nothing online is definite. So. Don't take Don't someone's, take someone's online, online presence, presence for who they, for really, who they are. really are. Anyway, anyway back, to back to Chelsea Ship. Ship. So, so, how did this, how did this supposedly, supposedly lively person, person become a murderer? Become a murderer. This, this isn't an exact timeline of how this tragedy unfolded, unfolded leading to the leading death, to the of, death a of a 16 year old girl, girl but, but there, is there is enough evidence that, that led investigators, investigators to believe Chelsea, Chelsea Ship was the killer. Well, it all began with a love triangle involving three main characters. The first person is our TikToker, Chelsea Ship. And the second, and the second is a 22-year-old 22 22 guy, guy by the name of Cody, of Cody Lee, Lee Arnold. Arnold. And, the and the last person is the victim, is the victim. Caitlin, Caitlin Nicole, Nicole Stone. Stone. As, you may, As know, you may know, there are there many, are different, many types different types of love triangle, love triangle tropes. tropes. There's, the There's the traditional, traditional love, triangle. love triangle. Basically, triangle, basically the classic, the classic form involving three people, people where one person is torn between two romantic interests. So, imagine where Bella is split between Edward and Jacob. Then there's the unquieted love triangle. In this scenario, one person, one person loves another, another who loves a third. The first, the first person's, person's feelings, feelings are not reciprocated, are not reciprocated creating, a creating a triangle of unrequited, unrequited love. love. Everyone, everyone has a crush, has on, a crush everyone, on everyone, but no but one says no anything, says and, anything and, everyone and everyone ends up single. Ends up single. Finally, Finally, the polyamorous, the polyamorous love, triangle. love triangle. In this in case, this all three all individuals are aware of and consenting to the romantic relationship, forming a polyamorous dynamic, which may sound a little weird, but it's alright as long as all parties 
are consensual, consensual and, and legal. legal. Except, Except the case the with case Chelsea, Chelsea Ship, Cody, Cody Lee, Lee Arnold, Arnold, and Caitlin Nicole, Nicole Stone's, Stone's relationship, relationship was an offset, an offset child, child trap, toxic, toxic polyamorous, polyamorous love, love triangle. Because, because apparently, apparently Chelsea, Chelsea Ship, Ship and, and Cody, Cody Lee Arnold, Arnold were involved in a romantic relationship at one point. The pair lived outside of Houston, Texas, in close proximity to one another. You tell me, you tell me, y'all been in a romantic triangle. Then y'all been in this triangle, then that triangle, then this triangle, and then y'all went back to that. Like, y'all went through all three triangles, and, and still... I, 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 can't, I can't see what I gotta see. Like, it, it's like too sad to tell why, but... Why? Chelsea lived Chelsea in Crystal, lived Crystal Beach, Beach, and Cody, and Cody lived, lived barely an hour away, away in Winnie, Texas. Winnie, Texas. While, they While they were still engaged, engaged in a relationship, in a relationship Cody, Cody became, became involved with Caitlin Nicole, Nicole Stone, Stone, who was a 16-year-old girl. girl. Yes, yes uh, apparently, Cody, Cody Lee Arnold, Arnold was, having was having an intimate, intimate relationship, relationship with a minor, with a minor and, he and he confided this information with his girlfriend, Chelsea. And Chelsea, instead of reporting this child to the authorities, she decided to keep this information to herself. And not, and only, not that, only that, but she but agrees, she agrees to, engage to engage in a three-way three love, love triangle with Cody Lee Arnold, Arnold and the young, young Caitlin, Caitlin Nicole Stone. Stone. This, this is, is why we call it an offset child trap toxic polyamorous love triangle. Because a 22-year-old man was going after a vulnerable 16-year-old girl, and his 25-year-old girlfriend did not report it, and instead she joins them in a disastrous three-way relationship. These two are partaking in lewd acts and taking advantage, taking advantage of young people. And, and no one, no one. Who, who on is it? Is it a sixteen girl on bone? And then you, the twenty five on top, or is it twenty five on bone, or twenty or sixteen on top? New of this of bizarre this relationship, relationship that Chelsea, that Chelsea was, taking was taking part in, part in. Not, even not even her family, her family and friends, and, friends. and, and definitely, definitely not her TikTok, not her TikTok audience. audience. Also, also, it is reported, it is reported that, that although these three people, people were engaged in this love triangle, triangle. There's, no there's no evidence to show, to show that, Chelsea that Chelsea is said to have not had, had any, any intimate, intimate interaction, interaction with Caitlyn. So, the two, so the two ladies are mostly are involved with Cody. Cody. It's a Cody-centric Cody relationship, if any of you are wondering. Uh, this guy this sounds, sounds like bad news. news. All right. It's Cody, it's Cody Arnold. Arnold. When he was 17, when he was 17 years, years old, he was actually charged, charged with criminal with mischief for stealing a car. It's also been speculated online that he may have been in a relationship with a 16-year-old victim, which you and I know would be an illegal relationship. So he already been in jail before. By the summer of 2021, 2021 Chelsea's, Chelsea's life, had life had unraveled a little, a little more, more when, when she, befriended she befriended Brandy Moon, Moon and Aunt of her friend. The two, the two hit it off quickly, off quickly and became, and became fast, fast friends. friends. Chelsea, Chelsea even, even helped her get, get a job at her workplace work called, called Latitude, Latitude, a cleaning, a cleaning, company, cleaning company, so they could, so become, they could become workmates. Become workmates. But, but shortly after, Brandy was hired. Chelsea was fired from the workplace for unknown reasons. But still, the two friends kept in touch. By the beginning of 2022, Chelsea, Chelsea was, jobless was jobless and was reported, and was reported to be addicted, addicted to meth. She, she would post TikTok, TikTok videos, videos about, her about her jobless situation, but not but her not addiction. Her addiction. However, However, some viewers, some viewers did, express did express their worries, their worries for, her, for her, and, they, and thought they, they thought they spotted weird, weird signs, signs in Chelsea's, in Chelsea's videos. videos. The woman yeah. is yeah. yeah. suspect yeah. of yeah. the So much activity on yeah. social media. A lot of posts complaining about her life, some of them dark posts, but about a month before the shooting, there was a TikTok video where she's kind of in a dark environment, cocking a gun. And the caption, the caption said, said, I feel like I'm, feel crazy. Like I'm crazy. But these but are these only, are only a What? What? I don't, I, don't know, I don't know what to say, but what's going on in your mind? Like, if you were down deep bad and looking like depression, why didn't you try to uh, ask for help? Opinions, opinions and speculation. And speculation. Despite, Despite being close, being Brandy, Brandy did not, did make, not an make an appearance in any of Chelsea's, Chelsea's TikTok, TikTok videos or, or feed posts. posts. Nor did Nor she did ever she introduce Brandy, Brandy to her boyfriend, Cody Arnold. Cody Arnold. Anything, Anything Brandy, Brandy knew about Cody Arnold, Arnold was, was hearsay from Chelsea, from Chelsea or, their or their mutual friends. friends. At, this point, At this point, it's hard it's to hard tell, tell whether Brandy knew that Cody Arnold was also involved with a minor. Knowing that Chelsea didn't share this information with anyone, we can give Brandy the benefit of the doubt. On March 25th, 
2022, Chelsea decided to reach out to Brandy. The two hadn't talked for a while, so Brandy was beyond excited to hear from her friend again. Chelsea told Brandy that she was in the area and would like for the two of them to catch up. Remember, at this point, Chelsea is jobless and an addict, so she was not doing too well. There was not much information on how they were meeting up, but it was reported that Chelsea showed up at Brandy Moon's house with Cody Arnold and Caitlin. She introduced Caitlin as Cody's girlfriend. However, Brandy stated that she learned from a mutual friend that Chelsea was also dating Cody. This was supposed to be a red flag, I mean, besides the fact that Caitlin was a minor, but maybe Brandy wasn't too invested in her friend's personal life or the interaction was too short for her to spot anything wrong. The meeting lasted about 10 to 15 minutes. Everything seemed as normal as it could be until the next day, March 26, 2022. Brandy received another phone call from Chelsea asking her if they could switch cars, which sounds Sounds like, sounds a, like weird a weird request, request. But, I but I guess, guess it's all right it's all to right swap to cars swap with cars your friends once, once in a while. while. Chelsea, Chelsea didn't specify, specify the reason for the car swap, swap other, than other than she needed to do something, something with it. it. And I guess and I Brandy guess didn't ask too many questions, questions before, before lending, lending her friend her car. car. So Chelsea and Cody Arnold drove over to Brandy's place to swap the cars before leaving to do something. Later that day, Brandy was reported to have a girls night out with some of her other friends. Afterwards, she she dropped she her dropped friends her off friends and came off home and came early home because she because thought Chelsea's, Chelsea's car, was car was a little too nice and expensive, and expensive to be running around in, around in which, which makes her a caring a friend and a trustworthy person. person. But, but it also, also sparks, sparks the question, question of how, how Chelsea, Chelsea could afford, afford such a nice, such car, a nice car while being while jobless. Being jobless. It, it doesn't add up somehow. Well, back to the story. Hold on. Hold on. You're jobless and you afford a car? How do you afford that? How do you afford a nice car when you're jobless? Like, like, what, 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 what you on um, technique? Like, what the technique that you on um, um, did? Like, is there, there, is there a plan? And like, oh, let me get fired, and then boom. And you pop up a brand new car, like, there, there's got to be, like, some type of technique. On 11, 11 p.m. that, same, that night, same night, Brandy, Brandy sent, a sent a message to Chelsea, to, Chelsea to, have the to have the car switched, switched back. back. But she didn't she receive, receive a reply, reply, so she decided, she decided to, go to, to go to sleep because, because she had work the next day. day. The next morning the next at 8 a.m., Chelsea, Chelsea showed, showed up at Brandy's doorstep looking anxious. Seeing her best friend so worried, Brandy invited her inside to make sure that everything was all right. Chelsea came inside and insisted everything was okay and she was fine. Brandy told her that if she ever needed Someone, needed to someone to talk to, to she's, she's always, always there. there. Chelsea, Chelsea thanked her, her and, the and the conversation ended right there. Right there. Of, course, of course, Brandy knew Brandy something, something was wrong. Was wrong. It's that it's feeling in the back of her mind that she couldn't get rid of, but, but she didn't she pursue didn't it at that moment. At that moment. As, Chelsea As Chelsea was exiting, was exiting the, house, the house, she turned she back turned and blurted, Hey, don't forget, if anyone asks, I was with you in Baytown, and Cody had your car, okay? Okay. That definitely wasn't normal. Was this an alibi? Their presence, their presence and witness, and witness unless they are in trouble. In trouble. Now, now, Brandy is Brandy nervous. nervous. Brandy decided, Brandy decided to, pursue to pursue the situation. The situation. She, asked she asked Chelsea again, Chelsea again to see if anything, if was, anything bothering was bothering her because, because her senses are really, are really giving, her giving her a bad feeling. Her a bad feeling. She, needs she needs to know why Chelsea, why Chelsea is acting is so, so weird. weird. In return, in Chelsea, Chelsea asked Brandy if she had left her phone on her and she said no, but she left it in the house. Then Chelsea told her to come sit in the car and she'll tell her what's wrong. Brandy followed the instructions and then sat in the car with Chelsea. But what Brandy didn't expect was what would come out of Chelsea's mouth, which would forever send chills down her spine. According to Brandy, Chelsea told her, I got rid of Caitlin. Caitlin, as in Caitlin Nicole Stone, the 16-year-old minor that Cody Arnold, her boyfriend, is having a relationship. That Caitlin. Not really understanding Chelsea, Brandy replied, what did you do? Be rough or something? And Chelsea allegedly replied while making a shooting motion with her hand and two fingers, two fingers, two fingers, two fingers, no, fingers I no, shot her. And she even added, she even asked, added, asked me to take, care, asked of me to take care of the problem. And now he and has now to do what he has to do. Brand Brandy, Brandy is, is beyond, beyond frightened, frightened and bewildered, and bewildered by, the by the... That's the reason why she, she swapped it. What, what going, going on my to say, oh, let me, let me... Oh, like, what going on my... We, Mind, like, why? It gotta be something in your mind, cause ain't no way your boyfriend gonna tell you, hey, hey, I need you to go and kill this girl for me, and and you gonna get uh, do it, 
just because he's saying. Like if, like if somebody told me, oh, hey, I need you to go and and rob the bank, right? And at my head, I say, oh, let me go do it, right? But if, if I'm smart enough, why don't I just see? Nah, I, I, I ain't with that. I ain't, I ain't gonna rob no bank with you. I ain't with that. I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm doing it. Hey, you gotta mind your own. Revelation. Revelation. Her friend, Her has, friend just has just confessed to shooting, shooting and, possibly and possibly killing, killing a 16-year-old girl. girl. Unsettled, Unsettled by Chelsea's, by Chelsea's confession, confession, Brandy, Brandy pretended, pretended to act, to act normal, normal in front of her friend, friend. But, she but she was deeply, deeply worried. worried. She felt, she the, felt need the need to report, to report what, she what she had learned because, because, because there was a possibility that her car was involved in a homicide. It cannot be a coincidence for Chelsea to borrow her car on the same day she gunned someone down. If that's true, Brandy could get into a lot of Trouble. So, she so she decided to call her father-in-law, father Brad Moo. It's an it's awkward, an awkward call, to call to me. Imagine, Imagine having, having, to having to relate that, that your best friend had possibly, had possibly committed, murder committed murder and your and car, your car was, involved was involved in the crime, but, but that you had nothing, you had to, nothing, do nothing to do with it. Hopefully, Hopefully Brandy, Brandy, Brandy makes, makes better, better friends in the future. Friends in the future. Anyway, anyway, Brad Moo, Brandy's father-in-law, passed on this information to law enforcement and officers began their investigation. The first place they stopped by was Brandy's home to take her statement and she gave them every piece of information she knew. While at While Brandy's, at Brandy's home, home, officers, officers would, uncover would uncover some more, some more shocking, shocking information. information. Brandy's, Brandy's nephew, nephew, Cody Lee Cody Smith, Smith, not Cody, not Cody Lee Arnold, Arnold, please don't get, please them, don't confused. get them confused, they're two different people. Cody, Cody Smith, Smith told, officers told officers that Chelsea, that Chelsea had, also had also confessed to him about killing a girl and asked for his help to move the body. Cody Smith reported that he asked her where the body was and she told him it was at Cody Arnold's house. Cody Smith refused to help, of course, but he did provide authorities with all the information information, information he, knew he knew about the, about the murder. murder. So, so this makes this two makes people, people that, Chelsea that Chelsea has confessed, has confessed to. to. This woman, this woman is, not is not a good criminal. criminal. With, a With a potential homicide, homicide investigation, yeah, you're, you're, you're not a good criminal. You're not. You're not a good criminal. They did, they, they flipped the switch and they said, now on you. You're not a good criminal right there. On March, On March 27, 27 2022, 2022, officers, officers came, came to Cody Arnold's, Arnold's home, home and asked, and asked if they could, if look, they could around. look around. And, and Arnold's agreed. Arnold's agreed. Within, minutes Within minutes of the search, of the, search the, officers the officers located the lifeless, the lifeless body, body of Caitlin Stone, Stone, Stone on, Cody's on Cody's bed. bed. She was wrapped, she was wrapped in, a duvet, in a duvet and covered, and covered in a black bin liner, liner with evidence of a gun got wound. The officers immediately arrested Cody Arnold on suspicion of murder. Cody claimed that he had done nothing wrong. He began telling you and switched the blame entirely on Chelsea. Chelsea. Cody Arnold Cody claimed Arnold that on the day of the, the, incident, of the incident, he had been hanging out with Chelsea, Chelsea and Caitlin and, Caitlin and using them. Then, then they started, they started arguing, arguing over his relationship, over his relationship with, Caitlin, with Caitlin since he was 22 and, and Caitlin, Caitlin was 16. Was 16. In, the in the midst of the argument, you're going to Chelsea that Caitlin could be pregnant because a home pregnancy test had turned positive. He was afraid he would get into trouble with the law because he was killing me with Cody believed that the revelation, that the revelation might, have might have upset Chelsea, Chelsea. Either, because either because she was jealous, she was jealous of Cody of and Caitlyn's relationship, relationship or, because or because she didn't want Cody to get in trouble. Get in trouble. Whatever, Whatever it is, Cody, Cody claimed she had the motive. Had so when so he stepped, when he out, stepped of his out of his bedroom to use the restroom, Chelsea, 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 Chelsea took a gun, took a gun and, fired and fired at Caitlyn. Caitlyn. He claimed he covered her in a bed liner because he couldn't look at her. And that is Cody's version of how everything happened. It was all Chelsea's doing. Though he couldn't explain why there was a trash bin large enough to place a body inside, inside sitting, in, sitting his in his bedroom. bedroom. This was enough this was evidence for them to charge him. That was the only other time Chelsea decided to try to escape. They released these photos, photos of ships, of ships which Japanese describe, describe as armed, armed and, dangerous. and dangerous. And now on the run. And take, and a, take a look closely, closely at her tattoos. tattoos. Like this one. On her upper arm. Authorities are hoping someone out there will uh, recognize, recognize ship, ship and turn her turn in. Her but in. she was apprehended by officers, by officers in Liberty in Hill on March 31st, 2022. 2022. Now, now Chelsea, Chelsea had a completely, had a completely different, story different story from Cody. From Cody. Chelsea, Chelsea said she, said killed, she Caitlin killed Caitlin because Cody, because Cody asked, asked her to. Her to. Apparently, Apparently, the plan the was for Chelsea, was for Chelsea to kill to Caitlin Stone, Stone and, Cody and Cody Arnold was supposed to dispose of her body, which is why they needed a different car. But after the deed was done, Cody Arnold couldn't bring himself to dispose of the body, so Chelsea, Chelsea had to go to, had Cody, to go to Cody Lee Smith, Smith for help, for but, help but he turned he her down. Turned no matter no which matter story, which is, story true is true or how you look at it, this case is... Yo, yo, go for it, Jill. Yo, go for it, Jill. We have two adults. You got Cody on here. 
mess with mine. You got this girl right here. Like, this girl right here. Like, why? Like, you got this girl right here murdering someone that mess with mine. Like, like y'all both going to jail. Criminals, criminals and, and a pedo who took advantage of a minor and killed her. In an, in an autopsy, autopsy report, report, it was revealed that Caitlin, that Caitlin Stone wasn't, wasn't pregnant. pregnant. Some, people Some people believe that the murder was premeditated by Chelsea, Chelsea Shep as, as it was shown in some of her TikTok, TikTok videos, videos where, she where she displayed violent intentions. For whatever reason, this homicide took place. She probably wanted to murder someone. Both Chelsea Shep and Cody Arnold are facing murder charges and are being held at Jefferson, Jefferson County, County Jail, Jail on $1 million, million dollar bonds. It was a, it was tragedy, a tragedy, and we, and we offer condolences to Caitlin Stone's, Stone's family. family. And, for, and families for families with minors, we pray for, for safety and well-being of, of your loved ones. ones. Please, please be aware, be aware and, and be careful of those, of those who are willing to harm, to harm and take advantage of your young of ones. Y'all, this is crazy. Like, don't, don't be like Chelsea or be like Corey Arnold. Who mess with minor and then Chelsea who don't even care that their boyfriend mess with minor and then when they realize that their boyfriend doing this and stuff and then relationship then kill like don't be like them too. You're gonna end up in serious trouble. In serious trouble. Like subscribe and hit that post notification bell. And don't forget to follow me on my second channel. It was a worldwide.